Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about oogenesis. We have already done spermatogenesis in the previous video. We are covering the human reproduction chap chapter entirely through these videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Share with your friends if you find my videos useful. Okay, so let's learn this. Oogenesis means production of ova. Unlike guys, where boys where they start producing sperm only during their puberty and the entire process of spermatogenesis started only during puberty girls it's not like that production of ova will happen only through her first menstrual cycles 14th day that is fine but when does it start when does the production or oogenesis start it starts even when the initiation of it, only the starting part, all right? The starting part is happening when the girl baby is still inside the mother's womb. She is only in the embryonic stage. Her ovary has developed inside the ovary. Initial, initial part of this oogenesis is happening, okay? So, when is initiation happening? In the embryonic stage. The baby is not yet born. During birth, please don't write. Before birth, please don't write. Write embryonic stage. If they ask you, when is it initiated? Okay. So, what happens? Let's see. First and foremost, inside the fetal ovary, that is just the girl is in the embryo stage, her ovary, certain changes are happening. So, what are the changes? Okay. There are certain cells inside the ovary called as oogonia. And this oogonia starts dividing and making many cells and we call these cells as primary oocyte cells or primary oocytes. Not all of them are special right now. Few of them start undergoing meiotic division. Okay, so let's say we have 1 million in that 10,000 is undergoing this division and this, does it complete the meiotic division? No, not yet. Okay. Remember from the previous video, I explained about mitosis and meiosis as well. Meiosis has two phases, phase one and phase two. These primary oocytes, all of them, from where we got primary oocyte? From oogonia's mitotic division. So that is one oogonia to n divides into two oogonia and we call them as primary oocyte. That's it. Okay, now in this, some of them start entering into meiosis. Will it complete? Not yet. Okay, now all these primary oocytes that have entered into mitosis enters into mitosis 1 and starts with prophase. We know that meiosis or mitosis, whatever it is, we have prophase, metaphase, anaphase and Telophase, correct? It enters into this prophase and it stops there. Alright, so the division has stopped in primary oocyte stage itself. Meiotic division it entered, it stops there. Okay, now till birth or puberty, no change in any of them. The child goes into her first menstrual cycle. On the 14th day, she has to ovulate. Ovulate meaning release an ovum. Till then, no other change is happening. Alright. Now, how many ovum she has to release? She has to release only one ovum. Correct. So, one primary oocyte will start changing itself. How is it cha start changing to itself? It will start developing certain cells around it called as granula, granulosa cells and at that stage of primary oocyte we call as primary follicle. Primary oocyte itself covered with certain follicular cells imagine. Then we call that as primary oocyte uh, follicle. It further undergoes division. Some, some coverings are there around it that called as theca. Then we call that as secondary follicle. It develops a cavity also. Then we call that as tertiary follicle. Cavity's name is antrum. Further, it goes on developing certain um, features or it undergoes certain differentiations and forms something called as graphene follicle. 
But remember all these stages only outside changes are happening. Primary follicle, secondary follicle, tertiary, graphene. All these stages also the inside thing is still primary oocyte. It has not completed this pro phase 1 also. It has not undergone the end of the stages. Alright, it's still arrested at this phase itself, this prophase itself. Now, just before release of this, okay, just re before release of the primary oocyte, it completes the first phase of meiosis. And then we call this primary oocyte as secondary oocyte. So remember, secondary oocyte is what? It is primary oocyte completing the first phase of meiosis. Now that it is released, does it undergo the second part of the division also? Meiosis also? Not yet. It is released. Along with this secondary oocyte, another thing called polar body is also made from this. But this is degenerated, so we will not focus on that. What happens to primary oocyte? It starts moving towards the fallopian tube. It waits there for the sperm. If at all it meets with the sperm, it completes meiosis phase 2. This part. Phase 2 of meiosis. Then we call that to be the ooted or otherwise haploid ovum. Okay. Along with that, one more thing is produced called a secondary polar body. It is also degenerated, so we will not focus on that. I hope it is clear from the beginning. Let's quickly recap. Ogonia inside the fetal, uh, uh, fetal uh, ovary. From there, mitosis happens to produce many primary oocytes. They are all starting meiosis 1, but does not complete. It just gets stuck in prophase 1. Every time the child... Uh, now the child is born, child goes into puberty, her first menopause happens, uh, <laughs> first menstrual cycle starts, day 14 she has to ovulate. Every time she has to go through the ovulation, one among the primary oocyte will undergo these changes. What are they? The changes are, it forms primary follicle around it, secondary follicle around it, tertiary and graphene follicle around it. Till then, it is not completing these the moment is it is about to ovulate or release the, this thing, secondary oocyte, it un completes the first meiotic division to form secondary oocyte and first polar body. First polar body is degenerated, secondary oocyte is released, which we call as of now as the ovum. It starts traveling towards the fallopian tube. In the fallopian tube, it waits for the sperm. Only if it meets up with the sperm, will it complete the second phase of meiotic division, becoming ooted. Along with that, secondary polar body is produced, which is degenerated. I hope it is clear. If you understood, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.